Hi, easy breezy math here. We're going to solve the following polynomial. Now solving the polynomial means we're going to find the zeros, x-intercepts, and solutions. Those are all the same thing. So we're going to put it in descending exponent order. And that means I'm going to put my x to the third first. And then plus 5x squared minus a 6x. The sign follows it plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so now it's in order. What I want to do next is I want to group these together. And I can group these first two together and I'll group these together. Go ahead and put the whole thing in the group, including the sign, and then just put a plus sign there. And that's how you want to deal with that every time. We'll look and see what they have in common here. In common, they have a 5x squared, so I'm going to pull that out. 5x squared, that leaves me with a 2x there, minus 1. And I have, I'll take, get rid of the plus, because what I'm going to pull out here is a negative 3, and that's going to give me the 2x minus 1 now, sign changes. All right. So now they have the 2x minus 1 common. I'm going to take that and pull that out. And now I end up having 2x plus minus 1, 5x squared minus 3 equals 0. If these are equal to 0 when I multiply them, that means one of these must be equal to 0. So in math, what we do is we set them both equal to 0, and then we'll solve. Here I'm going to add the 1 and divide the 2. That's just going to give me an x equals 1 half. Here I'm going to add the 3, divide the 5. I'll have an x squared equals 3 divided by 5. And then I need to take the square root. So what I'll do now is take the square root of my fraction here. And when I take the square root, what I want to do now is say, okay, this is going to be times 5 and 5. What's that called when I do that? Multiply by this variation of 1. I think you guys know what that's called. If you know what it's called, tell me in the comments. And I'll have 3 times 5, which is 15. And square root of 5 times square root of 5 is just 5. All that is plus or minus. Yes, I said plus or minus. You know I meant to say that. And now I'll write my final answer. x equals 1 half plus 15, square root of 15 over 5, and minus the square root of 15 over 5. I have three answers because I have x to the third. And so I can check those answers to make sure that they are correct.